our next presenter is Elle Holbrook. She is a DVM student with uh, an MS in clinical sciences and epidemiology. She uh, knew she wanted to study One Health models when working on her bachelor's degree in environmental health. And with her degree, she hopes to help improve the way we learn about human and animal health. Uh, her title today is Man's Best Friend, Integrating Human and An Animal Big Data to Understand Disease. Let's say that the man on this slide, we'll call him Tom, is one of the 80,500 people in the U.S. predicted to be diagnosed with lymphoma in 2017, a form of cancer in which the cells of the body's immune system replicate out of control, and one of the most common forms of cancer in both humans and dogs. These blood smear images demonstrate how the small blue lymphocytes are excessive in number and are crowding out other blood cells. Let's also say he was diagnosed with a form called T-zone or peripheral T-cell lymphoma, in which a specific type of immune cell called a T-cell is what's growing out of control. It's aggressive and rare in humans, which means it's hard to find enough patients with the disease to make strong conclusions from studying it. It does occur more frequently in our canine companions, which has led researchers to ask how we can utilize this naturally occurring animal model to improve our understanding of the disease. This is just one example of many of what we call translational or one health approaches in which we combine data from human and animal medicine to improve our knowledge of both. But how does a researcher wanting to conduct one of these projects access the data they need? Medical records are often stored in different formats between sites. Source 1, 2, and 3 demonstrate similar data stored in very different structures. And additionally, there's often no way to access all of these data in one search query, let alone to access both human and veterinary records at once. Now, common data models for human medical records have been created, and these allow researchers to combine data from different hospitals by linking parameters in individual records to a uniform structure and search across all formats at once. So the question was raised, can we merge veterinary medical records with one of these common data models and facilitate these research questions? We convened a workshop last month with representatives from veterinary and human medical institutions, industry, and nonprofit partners to answer this question. And here are just a couple of the things we came up with. Now, existing models were created for human records. And while many components fit nicely with veterinary data, many do not. See, it's not just enough to bring the two data sets together. We need to be able to capture things that might be different, such as species or breed. Additionally, there's multiple ways to say the same thing. And terminology and wording vary quite a lot, even between human records. We also have to determine which model to use. Different models have different requirements to get data into them. For example, some models distinguish between admitting, preliminary, and discharge diagnoses, and a model that makes this distinction provides different output than one that doesn't. This work is very much in its beginning stages, but we're really excited about the potential that it has and the difference it can make, not only for lymphoma patients like Tom, but in any number of One Health applications. Thank you. <laughs> 